Kim Sohyun, mostly known as just Sohyun, started her career by participating on the 8th Smart Uniform Model Contest in 2010. Sohyun did not only win the contest but was also scouted by the company FNC Entertainment and started to train to become an idol. This happened in 2012, when she debuted as the lead dancer, vocalist, center, and face of the girl group AOA. The group made their debut with the track Elvis, which was not very successful and in which Sohyun had zero lines. Attached to that, the public was not receptive to her at all, she started to suffer a lot of criticism because of her weight and skin tone. At the time Sohyun was just 17 so this obviously affected her. She already revealed that for a while she thought that to be considered beautiful she would have to lost weight and bleach her skin, so that's what she did. In the next year, in 2013 AOA made a comeback with the track Confused. Again, the song was not a huge success but in the previous year. Solhyun made her acting debut in the drama Seo Young My Daughter and was now appearing on the daily drama Ugly Alert that recorded a peak viewership rating of 47.6%, making it the highest rated Korean drama of 2013. With such a successful drama airing every single day coinciding with the comeback, Solhyun brought a lot of attention to AOA and of course to herself. Confused was AOA's first step into the sexy concept they would later on be most known for and Solhyun absolutely embodied this concept, but in the drama Ugly Alert she played a childish and immature character. Because of that netizens were amazed by her versatility and she was very praised. As both AOA's and Solhyun's solo popularity started to grow on high speed, even more after the group's comeback that happened in January of 2014 with the iconic miniskirt. That became the group's most successful song and marked the start of their golden era releasing hit after hit. Solhyun started to appear in several commercial films, or as most like to call it, CF. With one in particular standing out. Of course I'm talking about the iconic 2015 SK Telecom CF. This photo broke the internet. Netizens couldn't believe that this was her real body. It became such a hot topic that Solhyun went on a show to recreate the pose and prove that her body was not edited on the photo. Her pose of the CF became famous and many popular idols recreated it, including Red Velvet's Irene, Espa, Jungkook of BTS, Eunjin of Dia, Cosmic Girl's Yunseo, Heechul of Super Junior, SF9's Jaehyun, and more. Life-size cardboard cutouts of Solhyun were put on the company stores, and many of them were stolen and started to be sold online for about 30,000 won at first, but the price increased to even 100,000 won. After the phenomenon that the SK Telecom CF was, every brand wanted a piece of Solhyun. She gained the title of CF Queen of 2015 and endorsed numerous brands, including Nongshim Shapajeti, Chicken Mania, G Market, Biotherm, Glam D, Dashing Diva, and more. Besides CFs, Solhyun also acted in dramas and appeared in different shows during that year and was even awarded for some of them. She won the Rising Star Award at the Max Movie Awards and Rookie Award at the Marie Claire Film Festival for her role in the film Gangnam Blues. And along with her co star in the film Lee Min Ho, she was selected as a promotional ambassador for Visit Korea Year. Solhyun was also awarded with the Popularity Award Actress at the KBS Drama Award for her role in the drama Orange Marmalade, the Best Newcomer Award at the KBS Entertainment Awards for her appearance on the reality variety show Brave Family, and a Popular Star Award at the Blue Dragon Film Awards. Solhyun was at the top of her game. She was not a member who sang zero lines and was shamed for her looks anymore. During this period Solhyun did not only became an icon of beauty who was frequently referenced as body goals but also one of the top celebrities of South Korea, receiving lots of praise and love. That on the next year, became hate. Days before AOA's comeback with good luck, Solhyun and her groupmate Jimin were caught on a huge controversy after an episode of their show channel AOA of OnStyle Live was broadcasted. As a part of the show, the two members faced a challenge where they had to name several important historical Korean figures just by looking at a board that had their pictures displayed. The members were not able to name all of them, they did researches online, were laughing, and were overall just not taking the challenge so serious, because it was not supposed to be serious, but rather a fun part of the show. 
But Koreans take their history extremely serious and were super offended and furious at Sohyun and Jimin. Because of that they faced lots of hate and had to apologize during the showcase of good luck. But this was not the only controversy Solhyun was involved in during 2016. Later on that year she was mocked for wearing makeup that was lighter than her skin tone. When asked about it during an interview, she said, My complex is my dark skin. While trying to hide that, it ended up being like that. There was a time I revealed my dark skin and it was not good. After Solhyun admitted to having a complexion with her skin tone, she opened up this conversation to many who had never thought about it, and the topic started to be discussed by netizens for one of the first times. In August, the Korean media outlet Dispatch released a set of photos of Solhyun and Block B Zico allegedly going on secret dates and reported that the two had been dating for five months. Following the report, the companies of both idols confirmed that they were really dating, and as usual, the criticism was more targeted to the female. But only one month after, the couple broke up. Even being hated by a good part of the public, Solhyun still managed to continue to be successful. She was named the 33rd most powerful Korean celebrity by Forbes Korea, was awarded with the Model of the Year Award at the Seoul TV CF Awards, Awesome Syndrome Award at the Style Icon Asia, and Best Entertainer Award at the SBS Entertainment Awards for her appearance on the reality documentary show Law of the Jungle. In 2017, Solhyun acted in the successful film Memoir of a Murderer and was named one of the top advertisement models of that year. But for AOA, things were not so great. In October of the previous year, the member Yu Kyung, who was not participating in activities of AOA since 2013, officially left FNC Entertainment, and in January of 2017, the group released the double lead singles, Excuse Me and Bing Bing, of their third album titled Angels Knock. The songs were considered flops as they were the group's lowest charting singles released after their rise in popularity. And to make it worse, in June, the main vocalist, guitarist and visual of AOA, Choa left the group. Choa was a pivotal part of AOA and many thought the group wouldn't survive without her, so this era was considered the downfall of AOA. But in 2018, the group released Bingle Bangle that brought them back to the top like a phoenix. Solhyun went viral during the promotion of the song for her iconic visual, a fan cam that showed her using the famous signature Bingle Bangle look has almost 7 million views on YouTube. In 2019, Solhi enacted in the historical drama My Country that marked her first small screen role after four years and appeared again on the list of most powerful Korean celebrities of Forbes, this time at the 16th position. Solhyun's schedule was so full that year that she was often not present with her members in episodes of the survival show Queendom, in which AOA participated and placed fourth. It seemed like everything had got into their niche again. But in 2020, the bullying scandal involving Jimin and Mina happened and did not only ended AOA's career, but harmed other members who were not directly involved in the story. Mostly Solhyun, who's well known to be best friends with Jimin, who at first was seen as the villain, as Mina accused the rapper of bullying her. I'm not going to cover the whole scandal because it would take a long time, and the video is about Solhyun, but as probably most of you know, this scandal had countless twists and turns, which will eventually be mentioned but not explained in details. At first, Mina accused Solhyun of being a bystander who had witnessed Jimin's behavior and said that she didn't care about it. Mina also made posts mentioning Solhyun, and one of them she wrote, It's unfair that Shin Jimin, Han Sung Ho, the CEO of FNC, and Kim Solhyun are living well. You all have to compensate for all the mental damage you caused. Because of that, Solhyun's Instagram account was flooded with hate comments, people started a petition for her to be removed from the drama Awaken that was about to start airing. And a video of Vogue Korea with Solhyun had to be deleted from YouTube after it started to receive backlash. Vogue Korea used Jimin's name in the hidden tags of the video to gain views, but the plan apparently did not go as expected and they had to delete it. Because of the hate, Solhyun took a hiatus from social media for several months and did not address the scandal. Mina continued to talk about the subject for a long time, in one of the posts she made later on she said that Solhyun was actually very nice to her. With each new post she made, her story seemed to change, she contradicted herself a couple of times. Staff members who worked with AOA also spoke up and said that Mina was the one that was hard to deal with. 
and Dispatch released a 128 minutes long transcript and text messages between the members of AOA that made many change their opinions and even apologize to Jimin. That was when the public's opinions started to get mixed. And Solhian actually started to be praised for being a loyal friend by the ones who believed Jimin was the actual victim of the whole story. After a picture that showed them together posing for a set of sticker photos together began spreading online in September of 2021. In November of the same year, Solhian made her return to variety shows, caught the public's attention for wearing a gorgeous red gown for the Blue Dragon Film Awards, and in December she hosted the KBS Song Festival. Proving to be a true phoenix, in 2022 she got back into acting and starred in the dramas The Killer's Shopping List and Summer Strike, for which she won her first ever Best Actress Award at the LA Webfest. Solhyun also hosted the 31st Seoul Music Awards and signed with the company Yum Hashtag after she decided to not renew her contract with FNC Entertainment. And now in 2024, Solhyun will be a part of the new original series of Disney Plus titled Lighting Shop. Since her debut days, Solhyun has been facing a lot of hardships but remained resilient and never allowed any to affect her career and success, always getting back up as a Truett girl would.